is regarding bomber crews, uh, this gave uh, a bit of cohesion, I think, insofar as uh, they used to uh, have a, a session where they'd gather all these trained air crew together and uh, they would sort of size one another up and uh, say, oh, would you like to join us? You join. So they'd, they would then go to an OTU, an occupational occupation training unit or operational training unit and uh, I, I think that was a better system because uh, they were uh, all uh, started out at the beginning as one. I, I think that was uh, one of the reasons that my brother was killed. He should not have been flying and uh, another brother and I pleaded with him, for goodness sake, think of your wife and child at home. Don't go on for further flying. And he said, I've got to stick with the boys. So yeah. That's the end result. But uh, getting back to uh, uh, flying boats, we were constantly being changed uh, as a navigator had reached his at the end of his tour of duty, they'd take him out and put a new navigator in, and then you might get a new skipper. Uh, I had two skippers. I'd, I'd fr flown fragmented trips with a, a couple of uh, different ones, but the two principal ones I had were this uh, Laurie Clark that I mentioned and uh, Athel Riley was the other one. But uh, uh, crews on bomber, they just, one skipper and they went right throughout the whole show. A new fellow would come on and you, you'd make him welcome and uh, he would gradually meld into the crew. But I, I don't think you had the same cohesion as these other people would have by virtue of the fact that they all started out as a complete team and went training together. <laughs>